I'm back with another ocarina tutorial. This video is for flutists that want to learn how to play the ocarina. Going from flute to ocarina should be a pretty easy transition for you and it's a really fun instrument to play. Don't worry if you don't play the flute, I did another video last month that shows you how to play the ocarina and so I think it's perfect for you so make sure to go and check it out. Well let's get started. The ocarina that I will be demonstrating on today is the Brio Tenor Ocarina and the color is vibrant purple. If you're looking for your own ocarina, make sure to go to the SEL Ocarina website and use my code Gina for 10% off your order. If your ocarina comes with a neck strap, I would highly recommend that you use it, especially while you're starting out. And that's because some of the fingerings are a little awkward and there's not a ton of stability on the instrument. And it's very easy to accidentally drop the ocarina, which would be really bad and you could easily damage it. So that's why I would recommend keeping the neck strap on while you're beginning. First of all, let's learn how to produce a sound on the ocarina. This should be very easy for you flutists. All you have to do is blow air into this top part right here and to articulate, same thing as flute, go ta. Now for hand placement. This is the back of the ocarina, it has three holes. You are not gonna use this top hole. Your right hand, your thumb goes right here and then this part goes over the ocarina. Now your left hand goes on the other hole and it goes underneath the ocarina, so it will look like this. Now for your hand placement, your right hand goes like this and your left hand goes like this. Now for very low notes and for different accidentals, you will use those other two holes that we are not covering right now. We are not going to go over that in this video because this is just a basics video, but later on I will show you how to use those. One thing that is different from flute is you do need to cover the holes completely. It's not like you press down the key and it produces the note. So if you don't have it completely covered, the note is not going to come out and sound correct. So watch my finger right here going up like this, it has to be completely covered. So if you're playing, it sounds a little funky, check your fingers. It's just a matter of muscle memory. You'll learn it very quickly, but just make sure that the holes are completely covered. For the lowest note that we're learning today is a C, so everything that I just showed you is covered. That's a C. Now this is the same thing as flute, D. E is also same thing as flute. F. Again, G is same thing as flute. Now this is where it gets a little different from flute. A, you will keep this finger down, okay? So lift this finger, keep your pinky down. Right about this point is where I will wrap my pinky finger around the bottom of the instrument, make sure you're not covering holes, but this just gives you a little bit more stability. So now we're going to go to B. Lift this finger, same fingering as flute, but with that pinky down. And C, lift this top finger right here. Now for D, you're going to lift your left thumb right here, okay? This is why we want to have our pinky wrapped around the bottom to give us a little more stability, is for especially these notes. E, right hand thumb up. And very last note. Lift your pinky on your left hand. There you go. I'm going to go through the whole thing again just to make sure that you have it. Okay, low C. D. E. F. G. A. Make sure to keep this pinky down. B. Make sure your pinky is wrapped right here so that you don't lose your instrument. C, D, left hand thumb. Right hand thumb for E. And last but not least, F. And there you go. If you have any questions on how to play the ocarina, please leave them in the comments below so that I can help you out. Thank you again to STL Ocarina for making this series possible. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my flute videos or my monthly ocarina videos.